you so like you describe yourself as an empath right yes and uh uh there were this like major events that happened in like 2016 that i was just in a bad place i would say right um and then I think that was like the final straw. Or I don't know when the conversation happened with Sister Keisha, but I feel like that was like when I'm like, this is the final straw. Because even when that event happened, I feel like you then took all of it. Like, I feel like you took all the pain that I was going through on you without me knowing that that's what you were doing. So then as a result, every time I called, maybe to you also, it was like a constant reminder of like, you're going through this major thing and I'm yeah. putting it on you. When, from from my perspective, I, you know, I'm like, oh, I'm just talking to my friend and like, if I'm not, if I feel like shit or whatever, which I think there's a balance to that. Um, however, that was when I think, when I, when I started noticing more of the distance, like soon after that, because then I remember I, actually, yeah, because I think at that point you had gone home for Christmas and you were like, I, I just did. need two weeks off. I don't want to talk to anybody. I didn't leave the house. And I was like, I left once. Well, hold on. Let me move my um. What do you call this? My light. Oh. <laughs> but yeah, I think it was like. Wait, could you hear me? Yeah. So like, I think it was like that moment where it was like a major thing. Because then it's like it's one thing to like. I think the current messages came after that, but it still was. Or did it come before that? Then that's a good point. Um, so, Indira, we're not going to talk about the event. I I call it a traumatic event. The event. Um, I call it a traumatic event, uh, and it affected both of us in different ways. Um, I did feel responsible in a kind of way. Um, maybe I need to talk to my therapist about this because I started to get emotional. I felt. I felt partly like it was my fault. Um, the like the way the whole thing happened, and then I I remember I had to change my flight, and then I went back to work, and then I I mean I've cried at work like three times. Um, this was one of those times where I'm just with my my boss. I'm trying to do work, right? I'm with my boss. <laughs> And she was asking me like, oh, how was your, you know, trip and all that stuff? And I just started crying. I just started crying. And then I told her all about it. And then she invited me to yoga. They brought like some guy from California to do yoga. Okay, whatever. Yoga was fine. But I did. I did travel back home soon after. Um, and then I was depressed. I was, I was like, I don't want to talk to nobody. <laughs> Right. I don't want to do anything. And then the one time my sisters dragged me out of the house, it rained. We went to village or something. I think they was doing a um yeah. on the stage, and it rained. And I was like, "This is why I wasn't supposed to go nowhere." <laughs> uh, but I was, yeah. I I think I did like take on a large part of the processings of it. Um, and it was it was hard. universe acknowledging that it was hard um, it was it was it was hard right it was hard and and we went through this thing in different ways and it was it was it was a difficult time um I think because then I my laptop broke I think I was so emotional I broke my laptop on the way to the airport um lost my luggage I lost my luggage the same right so after I left um fl flying down came back to Miami Miami to St. Croix Broke my laptop, lost my luggage. They ended up finding it, but right. it was it was still like a lot of stressful things happening. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, and I think it was it was like one of those turning points in our friendship where it was just like, man, um, I'm tired of being around chaotic things, right? Um, and and I don't like the craziness. And then I had started to associate you with craziness happening. Right. After that, when you went home and because that's why I think I think the short messages happened right after, like for like a month. Right. And then or maybe two months. And then you went home and that because then you came back and I was like, you good? Like I haven't spoken to you in like two weeks. Right. Right. 
or like maybe it was like one text or something like like but it was like all text and I'm like you home like you should be like and it's Christmas like you, right. know, you know in better moons um and then to your point like we're both processing something traumatic and here's this person who is supposedly like one of the closest person that I've processed everything else with right but, and then they're not here and I'm just like but then I, I, I started noticing that you're going through something, but I'm like, but she's not telling me what it is because it was me. <laughs> and then I'm just like, I don't know. Like, you know, then I started feeling forced. So then I think, I don't know when the conversation with Sister Keisha happened, but then I think at one point you just said it. You're like, I just said, I think that's the first, I don't know if it was that time when you expressed like you felt like it was your fault or whatever, but I, I know at that point we agreed to do a space thing. And I gave myself, I think I said two months. After two months, there was no contact. And then after yeah. two months, I'm like, so where are we with this? Um, yeah, I remember that. Like, <laughs> I, remember that. Yeah. I remember where I was when I sent that text. And I was just like, I think the response was pretty much just like, I mean, I kind of enjoy these last two months. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think I was like, you know, I kind of like where we're at. I think I, I'm fine them. with this or yeah. something like that. Yeah, I had um, more words then. Yeah, I or I think it was more like you're like, I need more time or whatever. I think I'm good with processing. And then there was another like, because I used to do this like every two month follow up thing yeah. <laughs> where yeah. I'm like, okay, so like where are you? I didn't think maybe by the third or fourth follow two month follow up, I was just like, because then I started feeling like now I'm walking on eggshells, right? Because I think every time I would check in, we'd then try to have a call. It would be this weird fake like yeah. oh let's talk and catch up yeah. how are you like what are you doing like I'm pretty sure there are times I've seen you roll your eyes <laughs> <laughs> just, not the real eyes yeah and I was just like okay okay cool 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 um and then I started feeling like well what's even the point because now I because you know like I feel like that's one of the things of like friendships where or like you know this level of friendship where you feel like this is a person I can be my most authentic self with right and now I'm being the most fake with. Right. Right. And so right. it was just like, I I don't feel like myself. I don't like this. I don't like who I am when I'm in this space. So I'm just going to like leave it. 